MTYP has announced its 2013-2014 season, scaling back the number of shows from last season, but packing a punch by tackling some serious issues. Two hard-hitting home productions will deal with bullying, eating disorders, and parental expectation. The season does kick off on a lighter note, though, with the spirited retelling of the classic Jack and the Beanstalk in fall. Where are we? Heaven! Heaven? I'm in heaven? Winnipeg Jewish Theater wraps up its season with the Angels in America conclusion, Perestroika. The epic finale of Tony Kushner's Tony Award-winning supernatural drama has never been seen in Winnipeg and tackles serious themes of sexuality, justice and identity. The play tells the story of a gay man, his unfaithful lover, a Mormon lawyer and his valium-addicted wife during the AIDS crisis in 1980s New York. Angels in America split in two halves, with the first half, Millennium Approaches, shown last season, and Perestroika picking up where Millennium left off. Who's that? Monty Python. Can't be. Yes. And for a little less drama and a lot more rock and roll, Winnipeg Studio Theatre presents Rooms, a rock romance. This enchantingly edgy musical takes place in 1970s Glasgow, where ambitious singer-songwriter Monica meets Ian, the reclusive rocker. The two become tangled creatively and romantically, with their music taking them to New York City, where they discover a vibrant new music scene. Actor, musician and Canadian Idol contestant Steffi Di Dominique Antonio plays Monica, and she gave us the secret to finding her inner Scottish punk rocker. The Scottish people are like so in your face and so so bold that I think that finding, finding that <laughs> has been the biggest challenge probably in the rehearsal process, and, uh, but it's been very fun. And you have to be a little wild if you're going to be a Scottish punk rocker. You don't need to go far to see the beauty, just right here. The local artist is hoping her first solo exhibit will help us to see the beauty that surrounds us no matter what the season. Elena L's Hey Winnipeg exhibit at the Creatory Gallery shows the way she sees Winnipeg after moving here in 2006 from Israel. The exhibit features Winnipeg cityscape paintings, transforming the places you see every day into beautiful scenery with the stroke of her paintbrush. I hope to inspire people to stop and just look around and see beauty in the simple things like building flower, even snow, and you know, all these simple things we go and see every day. And it's your last chance to catch principal dancer Vanessa Lawson on stage. The wrap-up production of the Royal Winnipeg Ballet season is also her farewell performance with the company. Get your tickets now to see Moulin Rouge here at the Centennial Concert Hall this weekend. For Breakfast Television, I'm Jenna Collins.